Greetings everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the Half-Life community show that has got it going on. No idea what that means, but it does. Specifically Half-Life news is what we got going on. And we got a bunch of it this week, so I'm not going to stall you any longer. Let's get straight into it. Lambda Federation. Mark Laidlaw, the writer of the original Half-Life and the games that came after it, has long been retired from Valve and the game industry as a whole. Since 2016, Mark has just been enjoying his time on this planet and doing some creative endeavors on the side. So it was quite surprising to see that he very recently did an interview with Nicolas Rafina dos Santos, a Brazilian writer on Medium. And the interview is about what he has been doing over the past few years since he left Valve, as well as about Mark Laidlaw's experience on writing novels. In this interview, he, for example, discusses his writing process, or the lack thereof these days, and what writers really influenced him and his work. He talks about the video games that he still plays, and he's being asked here too what he thinks of Half-Life Alex. And as it turns out, he has actually never played it. But he's glad that the fans like it and that Valve was finally able to move forward with the series. He mostly plays the PS5 and the Switch nowadays, he doesn't even own a PC anymore. And he did own an Index apparently, got it from Valve, but he gave it away to his son-in-law. It's all in all a pretty darn interesting interview and if you'd like to know more about how Mr. Laidlaw is doing these days, then it's definitely worth checking out. I left a link down in the description below for your convenience. It's time for an internal announcement. We over at Lambda Generation and NoClick are collaborating on an event that's currently happening on our community platform. So, what's going on exactly? If you post your Half-Life and Valve-themed fan art on our community platform at community.lambdageneration.com and tag it with the hashtag communitycreations, you'll have a chance of having your art featured on NoClick's YouTube channel and on our community platform. Noclick has about 75,000 subscribers, so that's a pretty large audience to have your artwork be shown in front of. Does that sound cool to you? Then get creating, because this collab will only last for two weeks and it has already started since last Saturday. Again, all you have to do is sign up for an account on our community platform, then post your artwork in the fan art category with the hashtag community creations. You can also join Noclick's Discord server and post your artwork there if you prefer that. A link to our community platform can be found down below as well as a link to join NoClick's official Discord server. Good luck everyone! Can't wait to be looking at your beautiful creations! We got a new mod in town. Well, it's not actually super new. It has existed in the public since December last year, but it recently got back into the spotlight again. Inertia is a Half-Life 2 Episode 2 mod developed by Hxdc. Sorry, I have no idea how to pronounce that. And it runs on top of map base. In Inertia, you play as Andrei Mitrovic, an elite resistance fighter joined by his squad mates with the task to destroy a combine research facility that might be able to wipe out the resistance for good. And you have to do all that equipped initially with just small arms and some first aid equipment. How will that go? Well, that's on you. Since Inertia runs on map base, the developer has added a couple of interesting features, like an inventory system. Weight is a thing in this mod, and Andre can only carry so much. So carefully considering what to pick up and what to drop out of your inventory over time is key. The mod is very inspired by games like Stalker, Deus Ex and Fear, and will have more immersive sim features implemented over time. The gameplay is going to be very reminiscent of the first two Half-Life games, but with more emphasis on challenging combat, movement, caution, and the aforementioned immersive sim features. Are you interested in the mod now? Well, you've been looking at footage taken from a vertical slice of the mod. A vertical slice is in most cases a game development term for a small section of a map or a whole level that includes most, if not all, gameplay ideas and artistic vision to get an idea of how the game will play. The environment seems to look a lot like Nova Prospect, and the inventory system is very well displayed here. It's some interesting stuff for sure. I hope the whole weight and inventory system is going to be well balanced out, though. Anyway, there are more bits and pieces of information on the mod on the official ModDB page for Inertia. 
I linked it in the description below, as well as the vertical slice you've been seeing. Progress on the mod may be slow, but I'm sure we're getting something pretty good here once it's finished. Oh boy, has it really been a year ago since the Vogue podcast got started? Apparently so. A year ago since yesterday, actually. The first interview they did was with Ellen McLean, who does the voice of GLaDOS in the Portal games, the Overwatch in the Half-Life games, and the announcer in Team Fortress 2. Valve really likes her. Over the years, they have done a whole bunch of interviews from Harry S. Robbins to John St. John to some Left 4 Dead voice actors and much, much more. Even non-Valve-related voice actors have made it onto the show. So after such a successful year, what are they doing to celebrate their anniversary? They brought the Team Fortress 2 voice actors together in one podcast. That's right, Helen McLean is here, John Patrick Lowry is here, Dennis Bateman is here, and let's not forget about Gary Swartz, of course. The only one missing here from the main cast is, of course, Rick May, who voiced the soldier. He unfortunately passed away last year due to COVID-related complications. It's pretty safe to say that this episode of the Vogue podcast is incredibly interesting for anyone who's a really big fan of Team Fortress 2, and I highly encourage everyone to give this a listen. It's of course linked down below. Major congratulations to the folks over at the Vogue podcast. So what will they do next? Who will they interview after this? I guess only time will tell. Adrian Shepard, definitely a boy who deserves much more recognition in the Half-Life universe, has always been kind of an underdog in the series. The only game he really appears in is Half-Life Opposing Force, and that's it. No, I don't count Hunt Down the Freeman, never ever ever again. But did you know there is a surprising amount of lore still around him? The YouTuber Skyrion, who we featured on the channel before, has been making videos on Half-Life lore, and last Saturday he made a video that's all about Adrian. Skyrion talks about his early years, Shepard's training at the military base, the Black Mesa incident, and he even talks about his potential return in a future game, and a little bit about Return to Ravenholm, the cancelled Half-Life 2 episode that Arcane Studios was working on before it was shafted. If you love lore stuff, and I know a lot of you do, then this video is definitely worth watching or listening to while you do other stuff. I left a link in the description below for Skyrion's video. He makes more lore videos about different video games as well. Be sure to check those out too. You know who does not talk about different video games though? Us! On our social media pages. We're mainly Half-Life slash Valve focused. If a game is not made by Valve and has nothing to do with Valve, then we don't talk about it. Am I selling the social media well enough? Uh, yeah, that, that was alright. That was good, yeah. Alright, great. Our Twitter, Facebook, and an invite link to our Discord are all down below, so make sure you follow and join us there as well. A link to join our community platform is also down there, and oh boy, if you love Half-Life, it's definitely worth joining. There's new community-created content on that site every day. My social media stuff is also down there, I'm on Twitter and YouTube, so go check out those links if you want more content from me. And all that being said, I'm going to end episode 162 of All Things Lambda. Don't be sad though, because I'll be back with more content next week. And potentially, this weekend already. So look out for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really bad at evil laughs. In the meantime though, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon so you'll never miss another video from Lambda Generation. Salutations and take care.